Hello everyone, this is Penny. This is my Health in Bite Size. And today, this week, we're on the topic of bread spreads. Yesterday, we discussed butter, jam, and jellies. And today, we're going to talk about sandwich spread. The sandwich bread. What is that? The combination of mayo and pickle relish. Now, for some people, uh, they use just mayo and add the bacon, the deli meat, and then cheese, and then vegetables, and then there's their sandwich. Right? For many, though, they, they prefer the one with the pickle relish. So there you go, the sandwich bread, the mayo and the pickle relish. Now, let's uh, kumbaga, separate the two components and discuss separately itong dalawang ito no? pickle relish the pickle relish is good the pickle itself is good but when you say relish actually it's subjected to or steeped in sugar and a lot of other preservatives okay so we said that anything that's steeped in sugar is already bad so kasi sugar talaga is the number one enemy please please read the labels and read the ingredients list okay so pickle relish siguro minimum mi, uh, minimal is good but if you are on it every day it's not really good and then now let's discuss the mayonnaise. A bit long <laughs> for now. Now mayonnaise, what's in it? Uh, mayonnaise is usually, um, you know, the number one ingredient in a mayonnaise is usually vegetable oil. And something like so soya bean oil or canola oil, safflower oil or rapeseed oil we already discussed the the vegetable oils they're really really highly processed and they're really bad for the body they cause a lot of problems and your mayonnaise is full of that so it's the gum it's uh uh, uh parang nilagyan ng hexane it's a solvent that will uh remove the the wax and all from the the raw material and and it's um bleach para mas maganda yung kulay niya tapos tinanggal din uh, parang deodorize para mabango di ba <clears throat> maraming nasa vegetable oil na main ingredient na mayonnaise that you wouldn't like to put in your body another meron siyang propylene glycol alginate which is a, a stabilizer thickener and um emulsifier pag mag nakakita ka na kasi ng ganito medyo kwidaw ka na kasi usually these things are not they don't belong inside our body so another is potassium sorbate which is a a suppressor ng ano ng pole ng mold uh, and yeast formate formation but it's been found out to be toxic to the dna and it it has a negative effect on our immune system and then another is uh <coughs> calcium disodium edta which is um uh, an odorless crystalline crystal powder with a slightly salty flavor. It's a popular food additive. Why add it? <laughs> so, you know, the best thing to do is really um, make your own mayonnaise at home. There are so many recipes available on YouTube and uh, healthy channels that you can really, so that you can really know and eat the healthier version of your sandwich bread.